So it all started because Jesse McFarlane from Scotland came here and shared a vision of how God had moved in Scotland and, in, mm-hmm. and actually in Britain. You know, it seems to me like what y'all have done has been... I have to say this too, I'm sorry, but there are several women here in San Antonio area that I, that Shirley and I and, and others that were, on, that were on that core group that they have prayed for literally 40, 50, 60 years for this area. And so I think we stand upon their shoulders, too, in prayer, uh, part of it. Uh, it. It seems to me like what y'all have been doing is been <coughs> digging those, what would you call them at the beginning? Cisterns. The cisterns. The, 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 that, that can hold the water, the great right. vats, earthen vats. That y'all have been digging the cisterns. And the reason I say that is uh, the, the crossing the racial and denominational barriers that bringing, uh, I, I know that y'all made a, a concrete effort uh, that this would not be a white women's group, that this would be Hispanics and African Americans and Asians and whites and all coming together. And to me, that's digging a cistern, mm-hmm. something that, that will hold the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit won't be poured out where he's grieved. You know, he, so it, it seems to me like you've been digging some cisterns and there's been some rain. Maybe there's not been the great outpouring of rain but but there has been some rain and uh, but one day i'm convinced that one day we're going to see the outpouring we're going to see that rain come and uh, it's it's going to be mighty it's going to be wonderful and uh, other prayer movements have started across the city you know i this i don't mean for this to be um a downer mm-hmm. uh, i just I, but i sammy i i believe the enemy I think we need to be aware of it. It doesn't matter what it is that, that we would be feeling that we're needing to give energy to, to do in the name of the Lord. The, the enemy will try to counterfeit. Uh, he'll try mm-hmm. to infiltrate. Uh, he'll try to, try to uh, steal the, the focus ever so slightly um, away from Jesus and away mm-hmm. from and even, even within the American prayer movement um, one of the things that, that I, I think we, we, we need to be mindful of is that are we, are we more uh, focused around a particular result than we are the exaltation, the unfettered, explosive recognition of Jesus the Christ. That however he wants to do what he wants to do, he needs to do it. It may be that we get all Christian Supreme Court justices one day. It may be that Roe versus Wade, the abortion law, has been overturned. It may be, but if those things are, are, the, are the singular primary focus of why we pray, mm-hmm. I, I think you know, you, we, can, we can lead Christians to the place of being somehow disappointed if God has to be tied to a particular result. It, is, it, it may, you know, we're, we're believing that all abortions will, will one day come to an end in this, mm-hmm. in this land. But that could happen without the laws being changed. That mm-hmm. could happen because God just is knocking on the door of heart after heart yeah. after heart mm-hmm. after heart. The laws don't have to change for abortion to end. Mm-hmm. The laws don't have to change for alcoholism to dry up in the country. Mm-hmm. God can, he's not limited to the things that, and I just think we, that, that the enemy somehow can, can work his way to infiltrate, to get the focus off of, of where the power really is, and, and all in the name of prayer, all in the name of righteousness. Uh, seeking Him, uh, you know, it comes back to, and we talked about that in the past couple of weeks, but seeking Him is where it is. David Bryant, uh, who is a friend, uh, was one of the real initiators of a lot of the prayer movements that are going on today. Mm-hmm. God really used him in the past several years. But David has changed his focus, interestingly, now. Mm-hmm. His, his, I don't re- mm-hmm. know, remember what the name of the organization is, but it's about exalting Jesus. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. the exaltation of Jesus and uh, mm-hmm. that he, he feels that we have lost mm-hmm. the supremacy of Christ and, mm-hmm. and who he is that mm-hmm. uh, we need to come back, which I find interesting that, um, uh, you know, basically that's what, what he's saying is, mm-hmm. is we, need, we need to come back to seeing Christ. I think what we, we have to do, and personally I think that all of these movements praying for things mm-hmm. are good mm-hmm. in that they bring us to at least pray and seek God mm-hmm. in some way, right. but they can't stop there. If, if, that's yeah. where, if that's where the prayer movement ends, 
I don't think we'll see revival. Mm -hmm. But if we, if, and this is what I was talking about earlier, is a sense of desperation. Mm -hmm. Not a desperation for my situation, but a desperation for God. Yeah. To know Him, to really know Him, and experience Him for who He is. Mm -hmm. And when that takes place, and often God uses the things right. to make us desperate. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, if those things are removed, we're not desperate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's yeah. those things that... Uh, need to be removed and then you, you know um, it, it's it's real interesting we make decisions about life mm -hmm. and those decisions will follow us uh, a, a long way even if we pray mm -hmm. so we've got to still make the right decisions mm -hmm. about o obeying Christ you mentioned the Civil War mm -hmm. you know uh, there were some decisions made about life, and we're both Southerners, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, by our forefathers that were just flat wrong mm -hmm. and hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, that was right after this revival, and there was we, we were talking in just uh, br briefly earlier about uh, you know people in the South and North were both praying for a result mm -hmm. in the war, mm -hmm. and uh, but they were missing they were missing God in in that, mm -hmm. and so. Uh, We've got to be very careful about the life choices that we make. We need to, we need to ask God to help us. But and it's only by His grace, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, that we can think mm -hmm. with the mind of Christ. Uh, this is a little bit different of a of attack, but I, I, in in terms of looking toward the the new year, um, that we, we we need to we need to keep the practical things practical, and the spiritual things spiritual. Um, and sometimes I think we can fall off on one side or the other, that the spiritual mm -hmm. isn't of any benefit. It's all, you know, got to get the practical done. And oh, by the way, let me pray. Or we get off over here and we want to spend all our time just in the spiritual pursuits or the prayer, and we don't ever get the trash taken out. You know, mm -hmm. the grass doesn't ever get mowed. The house doesn't ever get cleaned. Don't talk up. about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, but, but the, you know, and, and, and I tell you, Sammy, over the years as a pastor, um, it, it is amazing to me how, just as you said, despise not the day of small beginnings, that if some of the small things are not taken care of over time in a marriage mm -hmm. or let's just say in a family setting, those very things can end a couple up in a, seeing a lawyer and, and getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. Because what it says, if something that's important to text, as and it may seem like a little thing to you, or I could say put myself in that with Shirley. But if over time that's just ignored and just ignored and just ignored, what it says back to you is Sammy doesn't care about me. You don't want to believe that, but Sammy doesn't care about me, or, or Shirley saying David doesn't care about me. Mm 